Welcome to all, and uh, this is Three Leaf and Taigo. This is also Japan, and um, it's been now more than a week that this terrible tragedy happened in the north, this huge tsunami. And I am ceaselessly thinking about the homeless. Because I am homeless too. Today I have a home, this is a space. I have a job. Tomorrow, I don't know. And at one point in my life, I didn't have a job. And I didn't have a home. So I know it can happen anytime. And I'm thinking about these people because they've been put in that position out of the blue. In a split second they lost their homes, they lost their beloved ones, their parents, their kids, their partners, their spouses. It just vanished. And now they are in gymnasiums and schools they're cold and they're not always provided the psychological help they should be provided with. And I'm sure the Japanese government is doing the best to help them. Nevertheless, it's just in my heart. Today I'd like to, to talk about an important aspect of our practice which unfortunately cannot be lived or experienced fully in its precise form in the West. It's the practice of Takuhatsu relating to the bow. Of course one might imagine other forms of Takuetsu in the West and I think in the next few years we have to think about it. I don't think it would be relevant to see guys with uh, hats like uh, this one, uh, this one there. <laughs> and uh, straw sandals and things and just going in the streets of New York or Paris or Madrid. It wouldn't be understood and I don't think it's relevant culturally. But here it is because it's been going on for, for a thousand years. It all started a long time ago. It all started when um, Shakyamuni had to, to live, to survive. So what the guys, the monks, used to do in those days was to just go for begging with huge bowls in which nourishment, well, food, nourishment, rice was dropped and so they could eat and in Japan this bowl is now this shape um, it's just a wooden thing covered in black and it has the form of roughly of a human skull it also represents the mind of the Buddha and Dogen writes a whole chapter on this in Shobogenzo. It is one of, the, one of the only possessions of Zen monks and it is used during uh, Takuhatsu to receive what people want to give. The gesture of begging is an important gesture because it makes you realize that you are nothing. 
you are floating. We are nothing. We are just clouds floating. And we owe our existence to the generosity of this universe. So the gesture of begging gives you an amazing gratitude, arises a feel of being so grateful for being alive now. So it is a very humbling experience. And yesterday as I was in uh, Kyoto, in a famous temple in Gion, I met three monks going for Takuhatsu. And although <laughs> most of the monks that I do gasho to never answer, these three guys when I did Gasho, they totally surrender in Gasho as well. Fully. No traces left. What's important too is when you, you hold this, this bow and they do singing along, oh! which is Dharma or sometimes lower and oh, what you do is you, you accept whatever comes. Jokes, buckets of water, money, nothing. Or sometimes flowers. Sometimes good things, sometimes bad things. And Ryokan, this monk, very famous poet monk that lived in Japan and lived as a hermit in, a, in the mountains for a long, long time. Wrote a, a beautiful uh, long tanka that goes like this, something like this. Violets and dandelions mixed together in my beggar's bowl are offered to all the Buddhas, manifest here, there, and everywhere. Violets and dandelions, beautiful and not so beautiful things, precious and not so precious, dropped in this. mixed together. Behind me, we got a shadow on the wall that says something like uh, Sun Face Buddha, Moon Face Buddha. Violence and dandelions. Good things and not so good things. Beautiful things and not so beautiful. So we don't pick up and choose, we accept. We accept and through an action of accepting, we work our way through. It doesn't mean that we have to totally say yes to violence, yes to things that are really unfair and call for more. No. We let all forms and things be the teachers. The parents, the mother, the father of our life. And Buddhas are manifested everywhere, in fact, in all forms, even sometimes as what we could think are ugly, or undesirable forms.
taking and giving. Who gives? Who takes? Under the hat, I do not see who gives. He or she doesn't see who is giving to. Being a broken and empty bow, whether we have this in our hands or we have just a cup or a plate, is our job. Please think about these people in Japan, but also in Libya, but also in South America. Think about all the people suffering homeless, suffering the most terrible things. That's also why we practice. If there's a reason why I practice, this is it. Take it easy. Have a great day.